So I tried something and it kind of worked. I don't like throwing things out, food, whatever. I'll eat the old expired stuff left out overnight. There's just something deep in my soul where I don't like throwing it out. So I found this oil and I'm guessing it's probably close to 10 years old. And when vegetable oil goes, you can tell it stinks. Yeah, you can smell like it's all sticky. So I wanted to make another bacon soap, but I didn't have enough grease. I thought, why not cut it with this oil? So there's the bacon grease. Um, it was gonna be great. You know, a mix of three vibrant colors, all neon swirls, expertly mixed fragrance. I made up the recipe, it's below if you wanna try it with unexpired oil, see if it works. So I weighed out my lye, I weighed out my water, I weighed out the oil. See, it looks fine. It just smelled a little off. Weigh that all out. And then um, I melted the bacon grease in the microwave. I subscribed to my channel. I liked all of my own videos and I even commented on a few. Melted that in the microwave. Like, like I said, I was going legit. So I strained out the, the lard, the bacon grease, and uh, this was gonna be great. My first three color soap. Look at this. I poured out the caster. I pre-mixed all the colors. I'm telling you, this was the one. Why would I do this with a 10 year old expired oil? Something's not working right in my brain. Look at that, burping the stick blender. So I burped it, right? Keep the air bubbles out. All is good. Now, as soon as I started hitting it, this is when things started going awry. I, I just tapped it a bit, threw the fragrance in. I'm like, it's go time, right? I'm gonna be splitting this up into three. I tapped it again and look at this. Look what happened. It just seized up. The camera went off because I started freaking. At this point, I'm like, what is this? All right, let's ditch the stick blender. Try it with a spatula, see if it's gonna harden up right away. Get a bit of color in there. So at least I got something. Now I'm working with guacamole. This is guac. It's guac soap. It looks like guacamole. A little chunky. So I'm trying to get the chunks out. I hit it with a potato masher. That actually worked pretty good. I just diddled with it for a while, seeing if it would set up any harder, if I could still work with it. So at this point, I'm like, you know, I could save this. I didn't want to waste everything, right? I had my mold lined. Oh, those expertly placed thumbtacks. It was so good. I just spatched it in there and worked it out pushed it down as best I could, treated it like any other batch of soap. This was just gonna be a green soap. The fragrance was cedar wood, so it kind of went with the whole vibe. Uh, it hardened up nicely. It was gelling a bit, you could see that in the middle. I cut it up, it cut up great. No issues here. The only real problem was that it didn't smell that good. Cut it all up, and then I let it sit for like a month or two. I came back to it, and it actually turned out being a pretty good soap. Would I do it again? No, I'm not gonna use the rancid oil. I'm gonna throw it out like any normal sane person, but it lathers up. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell good and it's soap.